In this video, I'm going to be replacing these buttons and the battery in this key fob on my 2008 Smart for Two 451. Over time, these little pads can wear out. These aren't too bad. I have seen them a lot worse than this. Sometimes they wear out completely and you can see the internals through holes that appear in these. I'm going to be changing this pad, which is available as a smart part from Mercedes dealers. And I'm also going to change the battery while I'm in there as the range is getting poor and I'm having to be quite close to the car to operate the remote functions. Once the battery is changed, you will find the range is considerably more and you can unlock the car from quite a, quite a distance. To begin, we split the case of the key with a flat bladed screwdriver, which reveals the internals. The circuit board can be lifted out complete with buttons. We then remove the pad. Now's a good opportunity to clean up the inside of here because grime and filth from the previous owner does build up here. And I don't like germs, so I like to clean those up using a wet wipe. Make sure it's dry before you put it back together. You certainly don't want moisture inside with the circuit board. It will not do it any good. The replacement pad, which as I said is available from Mercedes-Benz dealers, is here. And here is the part number for this component. It is not expensive. The battery will be changed over. Very easy to do. Just make sure you get it in the right way. The battery is 2016. I always use Duracell because I know they last a long time. But again, it's the sort of thing you'd want to replace every year just to ensure that you've got good range. These are available very cheaply. I usually buy them on eBay. To remove the battery, you simply lever it out with a small screwdriver and swap it over. Be careful with these little connections, these little wires, because they are quite delicate. It's important that they make contact with the new battery. The new battery is just pressed in. We then refit this to the circuit board and these little pegs that stick up here go into these recesses. In terms of getting it the right way, you can actually see if you look that there are three active buttons here and that one does nothing, so you can see where this needs to go. And that is now fitted securely. Time to refit this. This peg here goes into this recess. And all that remains now is to snap the two halves of the key back together and it's much better and finally we just test it on the car unlock and lock coming soon I'll be replacing the offside front shock absorber on this car along with the top suspension mounting which has play in it while I'm working on the suspension I will also replace the front anti-roll bar rubbers as they are making a noise over bumps I'll also be taking apart the rear brakes, taking the drums off to inspect the wheel cylinders which are usually leaking on these, and also the brake shoes. So lots more content to come. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thank you and goodbye.